the face and they know that you can you can too become who I am. It's all about your life decisions. I didn't grow up with the ideal parents. I didn't grow up with money. All I all I had was boxing and I put everything into boxing and look at where I am. Now I had to do some things outside the box, but also it's all about the opportunities and just knowing what you can and what you can't do. And I and I think that I've conquered the world by storm even though I, I even though I grew up in not so good conditions. And just finally, I appreciate you being that time. Uh, when I talked to Maricel on Wednesday, she said that when you guys were doing the face off, she felt, this is just her opinion, that you were underestimating her. What's your response to that? I don't think that you can have the success that you've had by looking down on the opponents. What's your response to her comment, um, you know, feeling that feeling that way? And, uh, you know, just, just what's your reaction to that? I've never underestimated a fighter in my life. My world championships are too important to me to do that. I'm taking her very seriously. She's 5'10", 5'11", in height. Uh, she's in a gym 24-7. She's worked with Buddy McGirt. She has a few tricks up her sleeve to try to ruin the homecoming of the globe. I'm not going to allow that. So if she thinks I'm underestimating her, she's underestimating me. She's underestimating how serious I'm taking her. And if she don't belong in the ring with me, we're going to find out very quickly because I'm going to knock her ass out. She better keep her chin down. That's what I'm telling you. So I'm not, I'm not underestimating her. She just needs to know that she in there with, she in there with the best. And when you in there with the best, you're not gonna last in there long if you, if, if you think I'm not gonna come in there and check your temperature as soon as the round starts. I'm gonna come in there and check your temperature and see do you need to be in here. And if she go off the first round, well, I guess she wouldn't miss the beat. There we have a glow talk. I appreciate it, Carson. Right. What's up, my guy? What's happening with you? All right. Yes, I'm. I'm fabulous, man. Man, I appreciate you for actually bringing boxing to the city of Detroit. Uh, you know, you. They know chose that. a fine ass woman to do it, didn't they? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Anything you want to say to your fans that's going to be tuning in? Listen to all my fans who are coming to the fight live here at Little Caesars Arena. Yeah. I love y'all so much. Y'all, this is a big homecoming, and we're gonna have more fights here in Detroit. Boxing is back in Detroit, so make sure y'all come out, you know, come in y'all furs, you know, step yeah. in y'all stilettos and everything, and you know, yeah. come to the after parties, but I want y'all to come to the fight and actually see this in person, because it's nothing like seeing me fight in person. Like, you may see it on TV, but in person, you get to actually hear the shots, and you may even feel some sweat come off some. So, y'all need to be there. So, I'm just excited, and I'm thankful for you all. To everybody who will be watching across the world, Y'all know what it is. That's the greatest. Dope. And I'm going to put on a great show for y'all. Whoa. That's All right. Dope. Appreciate All you. Right. Yeah.